Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Yeah, buddy, that's right. Get exposure right now. Holla at the homie Paul Mash, man, for Paul Mash TV. Hit up Paul Mash TV across all social media sites, alright? Who we got next? Got next. Got next. Got next. Got next. Well, hello there. It's Paul Mash TV time again. We're glad that you could join us. And again, the uh, feedback has been getting better all the time. And if it wasn't for you, uh, we wouldn't be doing shows like this. So we appreciate that. And um, we got a great interview coming up for you in just a second. But as usual, uh, well, let's recap all the ways you can contact us. There's YouTube. You just, just hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. You always get the latest uh, episodes whenever they become available. And you can reply to the interview in question. We love to hear from you there. Um, you can also email us, uh, pmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And remember, you can use that not just for fan information, but you can use it for solo artist or band information if you'd like to uh, be on the show. We'd love to hear from you there. And you'll always get a response. And also, if you're on Facebook, just go to facebook.com forward slash palmashtv. And that's our official uh, palmash page. And like the page, and you can inbox us and reply to the interviews and question there. We'd love to hear from you, and if you missed any of that, don't worry about it. There's a closing credit screen at the end of the show, and that will give you a chance to get a pen and paper and uh, jot all that down. So we hope we hear from you there. Coming up in just a second, we got uh, Debbie Hennessy from Los Angeles, California. Very talented musician, as always, and uh, I think you're really going to like uh, this young this lady. And um, we'll I get to that in just a second, but first here's a quick word from Click Jam. Don't go away. Does anyone know where Lou is? Anyone? Let's jam. Well, hello everybody. It's interview time again, and with us from Los Angeles, California, we have Debbie Hennessy. Thanks for joining us, Debbie. Thank you. I'm really glad to be here, Paul. Yeah, yeah, we're glad to have you here. Um, a question I like to ask right off the bat is everybody has their own story, but why don't you tell me a little bit about what decided to be your, what made you decide to become a musician? You know, it was something I always wanted. I, I, it's right away was just drawn to music and. Um, loved the radio and always had that on and then my grandmother bought me a little record player and I used to go get 45s which I still have all of my 45s and um and it just kind of grew from there I just I was just always fascinated with music and uh especially singing and harmonies and uh you know melodies that really like stick with you so it was, it was just a really natural thing and, and in all genres like that was the good thing when I was a kid you, you, it wasn't so segregated. You would literally have a station that would play, you know, the top 40 or whatever. And it was, it was pop and country and rock. And so it was really a great way to, you know, learn about music and to grow up in an era where it was so open that, you know, you were, it wasn't so segregated the way we can sometimes be now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's a pretty good story there. Um, 
Why, why don't you tell me a little bit about your influences? I mean, uh, I'm sure you have a lot of influences that come to mind. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I have so many. Um, I, you know, I'm always influenced by a, a, an incredible voice and a good song. And, you know, over the years, I've had a lot of influences, anything from oh, when I was a teen, it was uh, Steve Perry from Journey when I was uh, younger and even older, it was Motown, anything Motown, loved that, um, and country, actually the first record that we had in the house was, uh, Johnny Cash record, so that's kind of what I got started on, and, um, so, and I came back to country, uh, I think I was working in a record store when I was about 18, 19, and I came back to country, because it had really sort of gotten a little more, um, a little more poppy and not the way it is now it's a little much but it had gotten a little bit more poppy and was very relatable and was kind of fun and so yeah mm -hmm. uh, it's just i'm always interested i'm still glad that i'm still finding bands and artists and uh, music that is inspiring and that i can you know really get into and and that happens all along um I'm just trying to think. Oh, Sam Cooke was a big influence. I loved him. Um, Gladys Knight. I love Gladys Knight. And uh, and then you have people like Trisha Yearwood. I loved her and Roseanne Cash. And so it's all it's all over the board, definitely. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the uh, with the oldies but goodies. You know, like oh. you just mentioned. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, why don't we talk about your music for a minute or so? Um, I'm. Uh, where can you get your music at, and uh, and do you have any physical albums, or is it just all digital format? No, uh, uh, no, I believe I firmly believe in the in the CD. Um, uh, I have my music at uh, obviously it's at iTunes and and you know places like that, uh, and it's on the Apple Music and Spotify and all that. But uh, people can actually get uh, physical copies either through me on my website. But it's easier just to go to CD Baby. You can even call and talk to an actual person, and which is lovely and wonderful. And they will send you out a copy of the CD. Um, I have three full-length CDs, uh, physical CDs, and then I do have digital singles. I have about six digital singles. And then we have another single actually coming out next month. Uh, called True Me that I'm really excited about. So that's that's coming out very soon. Okay. All right. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about this uh, video that we're about to watch uh, and if there's a story behind it and so forth? Oh, there's always a story behind them. I do try to let people decide for themselves, you know, as far as like, I, I don't want to influence people too much. I just want them to enjoy the music and let it mean whatever it means to them because that's how I enjoy music. Mm -hmm. But um, but this one was kind of funny because we, I knew we needed one more really up-tempo song for, for the album we were doing, uh, No Longer Broken. And I had a, a uh, I called my producer, guitarist, Jeff Marshall, and I said, you know, we need one more. And I got an idea. And I said, it's called Whiskey Charm. He's like, I love it. You know, give me something. And so I, I came up with a, a, a chorus, um, lyrics and melody, but it was, or I should say, lyrics and rhythm is what I really came up with. I didn't quite have a melody in my head. And then he and I got together and sat down and uh, he said, well, just say it to me in rhythm. And I did. And he immediately came up with this incredible sort of Spanish flavored uh, guitar and and he jokingly calls it our um, um, what does he call it our spaghetti western song and 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 I and I can see that you know it was kind of a throwback to maybe even a, a Marty Robbins or whatever but it was a very fresh sound and uh, he you know does this amazing flamenco guitar on it um, and then uh, it was the second video from the CD and we just finished it last fall, came out last fall. And uh, Jeff wasn't able to be in it because he had other commitments. And so my friend PJ stepped in and, and was in it for us. And, and you'll hear, it's not an easy part. And so I was very lucky uh, that PJ could, could actually step in and do this. And 
you know, all the guys that play on my, my records and gals are just top notch. They're so talented. I'm so grateful to all of them. So, so yeah, that's kind of how it came about. So it's just kind of a fun, a uh, fun flirty song about a, a woman kind of coming into her own and taking charge of, of her situation, I think. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure everybody will love that song. And I, I think it's a pretty good song anyway. Um, uh, so we'll get to that in just a minute, but I just want to let you know, I think that's all we really need for right now, Debbie, and we appreciate you coming on the show and, um, we'd love to have you back sometime if you ever have anything new to plug for us. Absolutely. Anytime. And, and people can look for true me coming out next month. And, and that's something I did with, uh, Jonathan Hayes and we're really excited about it. So yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Paul. Oh, okay. And, uh, let's watch that video now. Whiskey charm, uh, from, uh, Debbie Hennessy right here on Paul Mash TV. Don't go away. Wanna 